Yoohoo! Welcome back to another episode of A Canadian Abroad. Today's big adventure is taking us all the way back to Westminster Pier for one of the most epic views of London ever. You probably recognize this background behind me from our London boat cruise episode, but today we're doing something different. One of the best parts about living abroad is you have random people from your past reach out to you because they're in the area. I have a friend from university who connected with me. It's been like 11, 12 years, I think, and she really wanted to do the eye, so why not? in my bones I could feel it in my face Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right and Make up for what I Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should Oh yeah, this is Anna. <laughs> Hi world. We went to the London Eye and um, what did we think? A cool perspective. Yeah? Of the city. You can see everything all at once, yeah. which normally yeah. you can't really do. Yeah, and we thought it was neat to see yeah. how things actually going to occur. Yeah. It's a very curvy river. They do have champagne option. There's a pub, pot, a pub pod. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's very pricey. Yeah, even the one glass of champagne was fourteen pounds. I think. Fourteen yeah. pounds for a glass of champagne, and to skip the long line that we were in, which I looked at wasn't appealing it moved pretty fast they also do that thing where they like force you to take a picture oh yeah we tried to well we didn't, really try. We didn't we, try at all we, we wanted gave in. to opt out <laughs> we just gave in we just like took we didn't even take our masks off they're like hanging off our face i absolutely hated that <laughs> i absolutely hated it yeah it's, we've we've had better photos <laughs> it's fine yeah that wasn't our best is it worth it i think it is yeah i think um Especially now, because I think had it not been COVID, I would have just really wanted to go up in a lot of the other buildings. Yeah. Like I would have said, let's go to Shard. But I think now with a lot of those buildings either being totally packed or yeah. like, unable to get a reservation, the price is still a bit steep for what it is. It's like a 30 minute trip yeah. from start to finish. Yeah. But it is cool. I don't think you can really get that perspective. Yeah. To get high enough and to get all of it in like one shot. So yeah, I agree. For that reason, it's worth it. I don't know how this is gonna work. It may not. <laughs> it's already. <laughs> it's already messy. Wow. Okay. Um, slightly cleaner version. <laughs> it's smaller, but it's cleaner. Thank you. If you've ever wondered if you should split a donut, the answer is no. Not this kind, anyways. <laughs> this is not the type. Oh yeah, blueberry was a good choice. Out of the oven as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but you know it's doughy and it's jammy and it's sweet, so yeah. I guess that's what you're looking for in a dye. I mean there's no Tim Hortons <laughs> about <laughs> In summary, the eye is cleverly positioned to give you a true 360 view of London. Once again, like many things I've done here, although it's costly, I would say it was worth it. But the best part of this adventure wasn't the view or the donut. It was connecting with a friend from the past. Here's the thing about moving all over the place from a young age and continuing to do so as an adult. You meet a lot of people and you make a lot of friends. But sometimes it can be hard because you never really stick around long enough to grow roots. And sometimes you lose touch with people. So here's a little life lesson I've learned. 
be nice to people because you never know who's coming around the corner. And when someone says, hey, I'm in town, do you wanna catch up? Say yes, because you're probably going to have a really good time. I know Anna and I sure did. Well, I did, I hope she did. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for another episode of A Canadian Abroad. Hit that like button once, twice, or not at all. It's totally your choice. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next week. You never know who your pizza delivery person is gonna be. You never know who's making your next latte. You never know who's gonna walk through the door. Who's riding the next wave. Who's creeping in your window. I really think I've taken this too far. Thank you.